Hey guys, welcome back to Welcome Home Custom. Today we are going to learn how to cut a backer for our quilts using one of these and one of these. Let's get started. Okay, so first we're going to measure the board. This piece is going to be 36 by 18 inches. So we are going to first, I have my 24 inch T-square with me just so I can get a nice clean uh, mark for my edge. So I'm gonna mark it 24 and then I'm gonna flip it over since it's only 24 inches just to see how off we are. So you'll see this board is more than 48. We're about, it looks like about one inch maybe longer than it should be, right? Maybe a little more. So what we're gonna do is, if that's our 24 inches, then we're gonna just line it up with our 24 and go back to 12. And that's our 36 inches right there, okay? Then we are going to draw a straight line. And this is the part we're gonna cut off, all right? Now the other part we're gonna do is, it's only 18 inches wide. So we are going to, again, take our piece and we're gonna mark at the 18 inch mark, right there. Gonna line it up. Probably cut that a little short. But once we frame it, in the method that I frame using the channel, it won't matter. So, let's see if I can get any, I can go like this. Line it up. Then we're gonna go over here. Now the other way to check it is that we just take our T-square this way and we are right at 18 inches, all the way down. We're a little high there. Nope, we're... I'm gonna go ahead and mark this again. I think we're okay. Okay, so board is marked. Now we are gonna cut it. I use just a handheld to, to cut my boards. I'm gonna need to grab my safety glasses and we will cut it real quick. Okay, so wearing my glasses, we're gonna flip this board around and we are gonna trim off just this line right here first, because it's easier to get rid of the length before we cut. It's easier to cut the width so we get rid of length so that the 18 inch uh, length that we cut isn't gonna be as hard, okay? So with this tool, there's a safety trigger right here. So you click that and then you just turn it on. It's very uh, easy to hold and it's not scary. That's why I like it. So we're gonna start here. I typically use this seam right here to help me gauge where the uh, blade is gonna cut. And 
and it's cut. Super easy. I hope you guys found that tutorial helpful. And if you like this tutorial and want to see more, let me know. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks, guys.